fish on. There we go. Another big smallie. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick and tired of spending hundreds of dollars on baits. just to catch a couple fish. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I catch a lot of fish and a lot of big fish without spending a lot of money. I'm tired of spending a whole bunch of money just to only catch a few fish or just to have it get snapped off in a tree. So I wanna show you guys what I do to catch a whole bunch of fish without spending more than a couple dollars because it is very, very easy if you know what you're looking for. If you guys like content like this, feel free to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. At the end of the year, I'm gonna give away a brand new boat to one of you guys if we hit 50,000 subscribers at that time. So subscribe if you guys aren't already and we're gonna get started. The main thing I wanna talk about today is the bait. The cheapest bait I have found to catch a lot of fish that isn't live bait is gonna be a paddle tail or a curly tail. And I think we're gonna mainly stick with Mr. Twisters. I have found they are the cheapest possible option where you get the most plastics for the least amount of price. And for the hook, we're gonna use the Eagle Claw hook from Walmart. You get 10 jig heads for $1. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Rod and reel, I'm gonna use my own specific reel. And now I thought, do I wanna use a few more of my budget options? Because I have a few setups that Walmart has on sale right now for a rod and reel for $5. Go check your local Walmart. I picked up six of these combos and I gave away a few of them to a few people I've met while fishing. But you can find these cheap combos for only $5 at Walmart. Other than that, I have a few other cheaper setups I picked up from Fleet Farm, but I think I'm just gonna stick with my own setup. But there is a few other combos you guys can pick up. I mean, $5 for a rod and reel, spend $2.35 at Walmart for some line, grab these baits, grab these jig heads, and you can catch a ton of fish with them. I'll have everything linked down below if you guys are curious. But today, we're gonna go hit the water down here. We are fishing the Mississippi River because I don't wanna specifically target any one species because you guys watching this might be fishing for walleye, might be fishing for pike, maybe fishing for smallmouth, largemouth, dogfish, whatever it is, I came to the Mississippi River so we can catch them all. If you guys can hear the cars, we're on the side of the highway. We're not at a private lake, not at a private pond, nothing like that. We're fishing a completely public backwaters of the Mississippi River. Let's get started and let's go catch some fish on a budget. Alrighty, we're gonna get started here. I wanna get rigged up. I'm thinking plan for today, cheap jig head, cheap grub, and a lot of fish. We're gonna start out at this little bridge down here. I wanna try three or four bridges today, give it a couple hours, see if we can pull off any fish. And I'm for sure heading down to a spot later tonight to finish off the video, catching as many fish as we can at a spillway. I heard the spillway has been pretty hot, so I thought I'd bring these baits down, give it a try down there, and finish off the day doing a little slam down there. Because there is a huge multi-species bite going on right now at the spillway. So we can always finish there, try to get a whole bunch of fish just to end off the video. But till then, we're going to have a little bit of fun fishing these shallow bridges and hopefully getting something nice under here. Alrighty. There we go. This bait is rigged up. I think when I did the math, this bait totals out to 22 cents because each one of these jig heads is 10 cents. You get a dollar for a pack of 10 and the baits come in a pack of 20 for $3. So you do that math, it totals out to around 20, 22 cents. So that is about as good as it's going to get for a very cheap presentation that catches a lot of fish. I'm gonna start out with this color. We can switch to a few other colors we have. I did buy some paddle tails we can also try later, but for the cheapest presentation I could possibly buy for the money, 22 cents is as low as I could do it, and it's this guy right here. Let's get down here, let's do some casts. Let's catch some fish. My guess right here, it's just gonna be walleye and smallies. That's usually the majority of the fish that I find down here, but you never know. It's a Mississippi River, you can catch anything. Let's get down here and let's catch some fish. Alrighty, we're gonna do some casts and we're gonna see how long it takes before we get a fish. There's usually a lot more current here. It doesn't seem like there's too much current today, which could mean there's some pike lurking around. Pike love to be in the calm water and I think this would be perfect for them. I'll be right back. Going on the bridge. I don't wanna lose this jig. got a bridge fish. Sometimes you got to get up on the bridge to get these things out.
fish on. There we go. Right away. That's a good smallie. That is a chunky smallie right there for a first fish. Five minutes into fishing, and we started out with a gigantic smallmouth bass right up on this shoreline here, right next to the bridge. That is a huge fish. That is awesome. I mean, if this doesn't prove that you don't need to spend money to catch big fish, I do not know what will. Let's get this guy back in the water. All righty, buddy. And there she goes. That is awesome. Starting out the day super, super strong with a gorgeous fish. Probably four or five casts in to fish in this little shoreline here. And she came out and hammered it. Gave us a good fight, brought him in. And that is the first fish of the day. Let's get back at it. Alrighty, let's get back to fishing here. Starting out the day really strong. I love to see that. That is always a good start to the day. Gave me a really good fight too. These river smallmouth give some of the most incredible fights per size on a fish you'll ever feel. Just an absolute blast. We're gonna keep slow rolling this thing. I either jig it on bottom or I just reel it slow. I only jig it on bottom when the fish aren't super aggressive, but it seems like these fish are fairly aggressive enough to where I can just reel it straight or even slow roll it and they will hammer it, which is a lot more fun than just bouncing it. I like to work these things pretty quick. It allows me to work a lot of water. So it's good. These fish are hungry. They're aggressive. Should be able to get a lot more today. The majority of these fish are going to be hugging shallow. They love to be stuck up in these rocks, especially the smallmouth. They just sit in these rocks waiting for food. So if you reel a bait like this across the rocks, they'll just come right out and smack it. The action in the water this thing has is so gorgeous. That little flutter it has, ooh. I am not surprised that these fish like it. Honestly, I'd probably eat it too. There should be some fish right up in here. It's just the other side of the road. It's a little bit calmer here, so I'd expect some pike. I wouldn't really expect too many smallies here, but I would expect pike and largies. You'll find your walleye and smallies in faster current, and you'll find your pike and largies in a lot calmer water, just like this right here. So each side, oh, that was a fish. Each side of the road has a little bit of everything. I guess most of these fish would be hugging the shoreline. Yep. Like I said, most of these fish are hugging the shoreline. It's a good fish. I also have a lot of current I'm fighting. My guess is smallie by the fight. Another smallie, even bigger than the last one. No, oh, sorry buddy, I want my jig back. My line just snapped. Not gonna lie, wasn't expecting smallies on this side, but then again, with the flood, there is actually a lot of current here. I would say it's about a 20 inch smallmouth, getting close to four pounds, maybe three and a half. It's definitely a good looking fish. I don't know how my line just snapped there. That's a little surprising. This area is super, super flooded still. So there is a little bit of current here. So there could be some, some smallies lurking around. I'll take it though. Let's get you back in the water, buddy. See you later. Fish number two. That is awesome. Good looking smallie, great looking fish. There is a little bit of current here. I wasn't actually expecting that, but I do gotta think that with a flood, it's gonna bring more water and that is gonna make a spot that is usually calm have a little bit of current. So I'll take it, good fish, good second fish for sure. Let's get back at it. I wanna see something here. What is up with this line? No way that just snapped. There is knots in this line. It's 10 pound test, it really shouldn't snap. That's all right though. Can't expect too much. I paid $2 for this spool of line. I was trying to do a little budget line, but I grabbed some uh, fluorocarbon, I think it's actually mono from Walmart. So I was like, all right, we're doing some budget fishing here. Let's grab the cheapest line I could find and use that as a leader. I regret that. I regret that a lot. My line just keeps snapping. It's about what you get for $2.35 a spool. 
This is the first time in I'd say six years I've caught a smallie on this side. So that was really surprising for me. Definitely not what I was expecting here. But then again, this is the first time in six years there's been current here. It's usually pretty calm, maybe a very, very small amount of current. But the way you gotta think about it is if there's a flood right now, it's gonna create more water. More water means more current. All right, let's go back and try that other side again. Hey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You guys fish or you guys just passing on by? Oh, I got you. Oh, uh, you're, if you're best bet, that's the only place that doesn't have a gate and you can just, should be able to, depends like, you have a wheelchair? Yeah, or scooter. A scooter, as long as it doesn't like, it's kind of at an incline. Uh -huh. So as long as you like put something in front of, just make sure you don't go all the way into the water. It's like a boat ramp, straight down, all the way, first one on the left. You should be able to catch some fish. It's been good the last couple days, so good luck guys. I just made my whole day. Free bandito bug. You get, what, a pack of six for what, six bucks? Get a pack of 20 for three bucks. And they both catch just as much fish. This one probably lasts for 20 fish for each bait. I can't, you know, say the same about the other one. Not a hater by any means. They both catch fish, like I said. They both catch fish. Fish on. There we go. Right up in the shallows, fighting like a smallie again. Right up in those shallows. Another big smallie. These big girls love this bait. Holy cow. The majority of these fish seem to have bite marks in them. I don't know if this one does too, but I think these fish are kind of feeding Yep, this one's got something. I don't know if it's a bite mark, but they all have some type of injury. Get you out and another chunky smallie. And that, folks, is number three. This is the same bait, too. I haven't had to switch baits at all because these things last through a ton of fish. Same hook, same bait, and it is another beauty. This is awesome, guys. I mean, this is absolutely awesome. We've been fishing 20, 25 minutes. We're three fish in. We may go to a spot that we can try to get on some walleye here. Cause you know, a lot of you guys want to catch some fish you want to bring home and eat. Right back in the water. But I'm catching smallies. Not a lot of people like to eat smallies. I personally don't. So we might have to chase after a little bit of walleye. We'll definitely hit a spot later tonight that's got some walleye. But for now, I'm having fun just ditch banging a couple smallies. Let's get back at it, guys. The crazy thing is these are all big smallies. These aren't pound small. That was a fish. These aren't half pound pound smallies. These are all big, nice smallies, which is awesome. I'm sure if I size down my presentation, I could catch some of the littler ones. But the main reason I decided to throw this five inch is because I didn't want to catch those really small fish. I'm trying to get on some really big fish today. So I came here a little bit ago and I did this exact same thing, same hook, but with a three inch. And I caught so many little smallies. It was crazy. So I decided today, let's try to get on some of the bigger ones. I keep almost falling. This spot has a chance for him, but just not as high as the bridges are. Fish on. Okay, I just talked about catching the big ones and we ended up with this little guy, but it's a largey, so it's a different type of fish, not a smallie. We got ourselves a largey too. That's awesome. We're getting started on the multi-species adventure. Getting into some largies, nothing wrong with that. It's not a big one. I'm gonna just get them right back in the water, but it's a fish. And that will be the second type of fish for the day. Let's get tossed back out here. Alrighty, I think we're gonna go to the next spot. The bite has kind of slowed down a little bit here. It was really hot at the start. And then for the last hour and a half, I tried a bunch of different spots, trying to get on some walleye, and we didn't have any luck. So what I think I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna go try this spillway. It's about 45 minutes away and see if we can catch some fish there. I think that's my best bet. We'll give that a try, fish it for a little bit, and then we will end off the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed the first part. I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm not even gonna bounce this thing on bottom. All I'm gonna do is just reel it. I'm just gonna swim this curly tail. It's a curly tail, they'll love it. Slow swim, let's see if we can get them here. Got him. Let's go, baby. I told you. Smally. Yes, sir. There we go. Look at his body matches the bait. Switch to a bait with black spots, and you catch a fish with black spots. How crazy is that? Got him. He just spit. Well, that was lovely, wasn't it? Huh? That was lovely, wasn't it? And he's back. <laughs> Pops off and comes right back for it. They love it that much. All right. There we go, we got the small mouth and we got the large mouth now. That's awesome, get you right back in the water. Just a little one. Aggressive fish though. I feel like that first one felt a little bit bigger, I'm not gonna lie. That first one definitely had some more weight to it. Now all we gotta get is that walleye. That's what I'm really hoping for. There's no reason they won't eat it too. They're in here, they're hungry, they're gonna eat this. The nicest thing is I don't even have to bounce this thing on bottom. I don't have to be that subtle as a presentation. They'll still eat it when it's just swimming. Sometimes they'll really only eat it when it's a really subtle presentation and you're just kind of popping it off bottom. These fish seem aggressive enough to want to just follow it and chase it and hit it, which is nice. Oh, that was a fish. Got him. Yeah, it's a good small. These fish are so aggressive, it's unreal. They're loving this bait. I'm gonna keep you down, buddy. Slow rolled it for a sec and she came out and chomped. There we go. Better smally than that first one. Not a monster, but definitely a better one. Oh, simple release. Makes my job easy. I'm gonna chuck one right back in there. The only thing I don't like about these cheap hooks is they bend so easily. I mean, they really bend easily, which is nice when I'm fishing the river because everything in front of me is rocks. So I rarely lose them because I just bend it right out of the rocks. But when it comes to a big fish, you gotta really set the hook hard and hope it doesn't bend. Because if you guys can see this, it's, uh, it's bent a little bit. So, not the most ideal, but for I think a dollar a pack, you really can't go wrong. 10 hooks for a dollar, I'm fine with them bending. Alrighty, we are gonna end the video here. Sorry this wasn't a very long video, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys that it is of course possible to catch a whole lot of fish and a whole lot of big fish on just a simple presentation just like this. Simple and cheap is all you need to catch big fish. You don't have to go out and buy all these expensive setups, all these expensive baits. Yes, of course, I fished today with my expensive setup, but if you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I have fished with five and $10 setups and caught a whole lot of fish. I just thought today to make it easy, I'm just gonna fish with my normal setup. But overall, we caught fish, we had a good time, and we only used one bait today, which means we can fish this exact same bait tomorrow and not have to spend any more money. Now, of course, the majority of the time, I do lose five or six baits a day, but luckily today, we didn't really lose any baits and we still had a good time. I've still got nine hooks left and 19 more baits to go, and I only spent $4 today. $4, and I still have 90% of my tackle that has been untouched. Doesn't get much better than that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.